What's up grade 10? So you may have seen that in the slides we had some word problems and this video is made so that I can show you how exactly to solve these word problems step by step. So we use a certain format in class, a problem solving format called GAFSA, which stands for given, asked for, formula, solution, and answer. Now this is very useful for figuring out exactly what you need and how to arrive at the final thing, the answer. Alright, so let's start with this first sample problem we have. So we have this sample problem at 1.0 atmosphere. Your lungs have 1.2 liters of air inside them. What pressure should your lungs have to inflate them with 6.0 liters of air? Now here we can see that there are some quantities that we see. We have 6.0 liters, 1.2 liters, 1 atm. These are the things that we have to figure out how they fit in in our given. So these are the things that we have to see in our given. So when we use our GAFSA format, make sure to get all of the variables, all of the quantities that are mentioned. So one of the quantities mentioned is 1.0 atm. Alright, so 1.0 atm ATM is a unit of pressure. So we know that it's a form of pressure. So we have one pressure given. Now, we have another quantity, 1.2 liters, and liters is a unit of volume. And finally, the last number that is given in this problem is 6.0 liters, which is also volume. Now we have two unit we have two quantities of vo of volume but we need to figure out where exactly they fit in in our different formulas. Recall that our formulas have subscripts of 1 and 2 meaning there are starting situations and ending situations. So going back to the problem we started out with the 1 atm and the 1.2 liters. So again at one atmospheric pressure, your lungs will have this much air inside them. So this is our first situation. So we label our given here as P1 and V1. They're not simply just pressure and volume, they are P1 and V1. While 6.0 liters is part of the ending situation or scenario, so we label it V2. Now the reason why we're doing this, why we're getting the given, is so that we no longer have to read the problem over and over again. Once you have your given, once you have all the variables and the quantities that are given in the problem, you can focus on what's in front of you. Now, in the next step, the ask for step, we need to figure out what exactly they're asking for. What does the problem want from you? So going back to the problem, the question is, what pressure should your lungs have to inflate them with 6 liters of air? So we're looking for the pressure in the second situation. Again, when you have more air inside your lungs, what pressure do you expect inside your lungs? Alright, so your asked for is P2, the pressure at the ending scenario. Now, once you have your given and your asked for, you have... A list of variables that you can use to narrow down what formula you should use. So we have P1, we have V1, we have P2 that is asked for, and we have V2 that is given. So what formula do we have that uses these quantities, P1, V1, and P2, V2? That's Boyle's Law. And so once you have your given and your asked for, you should be able to figure out what formula you have to use. Since we have so many gas law formulas, this allows you to narrow down what formula to use. In this case, we're using Boyle's Law, which is P1V1 equals P2V2. Now, when we plug in the given, we are capable of solving the problem. So we just take the formula and then plug in the values. So if it's P1V1, the value for P1 is 1.0 atmosphere. The, vol the volume 1 is 1.2 liters. And that should be equal to P2, which we don't know, times V2, which is 6.0 liters. Now, once you have your initial solution equation, we have to use your 
laws of equality from your standard mathematics, your algebra, in order to solve for the variable. So we solve for P2. So in order to do, to do that, we just isolate P2. So the quickest way to do that is to use the multiplicative property of equality, or in other words, to divide or to multiply to both sides something to cancel out your 6 liters. Ayaw natin na may katabi si P2, gusto natin mag-isa lang siya, isolated siya. So, we divide both sides by 6.0 liters. And by dividing both sides by 6.0 liters, we cancel out our 6.0 liters on this side. And on the other side, we cancel out the unit for liters. Alright? So what we're left with is 1 ATM... Multiplied to 1.2 divided by 6.0, that will be equal to P2. Alright? Now, if you um, perform the mathematics here, so 1 times 1.2 is just 1.2. If you divide it by 6, you should get 0 0.2. Alright? But that's not our final answer. Usually, we have to give our final answer in sentence form. So you'll have to answer what is being asked for in sentence form. So it's asking for the pressure at the end of the scenario. So again, the pressure in the second scenario or P2. So you just have to say the pressure will be at 0 0.2 ATM. Never forget the units and we also have to check if the number of significant figure figures is correct. So if we look at our significant figures, we have two significant figures for pressure, two significant figures for volume, and two significant big figures for volume 2. So our final answer should also be in two significant figures. Oops. So your 0 0.2 ATM should end up as 0 0.20 ATM. And that's how you solve your first problem. Alright? So I'll leave the other problems for you guys. I hope you guys understood how to use the GAFSA format. And I hope to see you guys soon. <laughs> I miss you so much. Toodaloo.